Welcome to this month's Market Update. I'm here today with KC Lowe, Senior Consultant with Frontier Advisors. Hi there, KC. Wayne. Uh, this time last month, we were discussing central bank rate rises and even some bank collapses around the world. Well, we've seen a bit more of that in the last month, haven't we? Yes, that's right. So, so same things we talked about last month have continued on. When you look at the US Federal Reserve, they continue to hike interest rates. So they've hiked by another quarter of a percent. The US cash rate is now um, between 5% uh, to 5 and quarter percent. Mm. So, you know, quite a lot of increase over quite a short period of time there. Uh, the reason for why they've increased again uh, is because the labor market is still very strong in the U.S. and inflation overall is slowing down. Mm. It is still quite elevated there. But when you look at the announcement from the meeting, it does seem like that it's likely that they'll be taking a pause now to assess the impact of the increases uh, in the cash rate. Mm -hmm. And partly because there's been another bank collapse, as you said. So the uh, First Republic Bank is another one that has been... Uh, have been impacted and it's been acquired by JP Morgan. Um, so that's going on. Um, there's quite a number of issues in the US regional banking sector, but we think that's beside the point. The main issue is on bank lending standards. And when we look at the latest data point there, um, it has tightened a lot, uh, partly because of the increases in the interest rates in the US, but partly because of these regional banking issues as well. And you know, credit makes the world go around. Mm. And Typically, when bank lending standards tighten this much, a U.S. recession occurs. So as a result of this, um, when you look at market expectations, um, it's expecting the Fed will have to cut um, interest rates a few times um, later this year. Mm -hmm. uh, what about in Australia with the Reserve Bank? What's, uh, what's their approach been? So um, the Reserve Bank of Australia took a pause last month at the April meeting. Um, at this month meeting, they've hiked again by now a quarter of a percent. So the cash rate here is now 3.85%. Mm. Um, similar to the US, um, the reasoning for the increase has been the labor market is still very strong and over inflation is coming off. It's uh, coming off quite slowly. So when you look at the Reserve Bank's um, forecast, mm. it expects inflation to come um, to get to about 4.5% by end this year. So still well above the 2 to 3% inflation target range of the RBA. So they've increased the cash rate again, just to make sure that inflation does actually come off. Uh, and when you look at what the market's expecting, the uh, market's expecting the um, Reserve Bank to have to cut interest rates later this year as well, similar to, similar to the US. So we'll have to wait and see there. So another theme we discussed last month was um, with the Australian housing market, just starting to move up slightly. The Reserve Bank, as you say, have lifted rates again, but still some upward movement for the Australian housing market. Yes. So it's been two consecutive months of positive house price growth in Australia. And this is very surprising given that the cash rate has increased so much over the last 12 months. Yes. Um, so... Yeah, in our minds, or to our minds, we think the risk is still that this is not the bottom of the housing market just because mortgage rates have increased so much mm -hmm. and the full impact hasn't really flown through yet. Yes. But there has been a number of factors that has been supporting the housing market. So on the supply side, there's been um, very limited listing of houses for sale. There's also been very limited new supply of dwellings as well because of high construction costs, high labor costs, and number of property developers going under too. And then on the demand side, we've seen a sharp uh, rebound in migration back to Australia since uh, the borders have reopened. So when you look at you know, limited supply and strong demand, that seems to be supporting um, the housing market right now, despite all these um, increases in interest rate. Hmm. Some big themes, KC, being fed by a range of variables and factors. Thanks for taking us through those. And thanks for watching this month's Market Update.